right there in a few minutes, guys. Hang in there. Stay tuned in. Keep the... Rack, how you doing, buddy? Salute, JT. I'm Salute. good, man. Kodak Black is officially a free man. Yes, sir. I heard the good news. I heard the good news. Yeah, man. So Kodak Black is home. He's free, man. Woo. That's that's dope as hell, man. Because, you know, he, he that that... We got to give Kodak Black this much credit. Even if you're not a fan, this guy is doing the things he's rapping about. Yes. I mean, that's a that's that's a fact. Kodak Black, man, salute. He's home. Salute, you know, man. um he put that in Kodak Black is probably the dopest South the newest South rapper on the market. Yeah. Hands down. Hands down. Now Basically, Kodak Black put out an Instagram post just an hour ago saying, I'm happy to finally be going home to my family and friends. I look forward to clearing my name in the very near future because he's still facing those sexual assault charges in South Carolina, obviously, right? So mm. the girl said, you know, she kept saying no, and he just went in. Come on, stop it, man. Wreck. Kodak Black was hidden down here in the South, okay? <laughs> if anywhere. <laughs> These girls... Uh -huh. be groupied out for him okay so do i believe that that happened i believe that she wanted to get with kodak black he probably played her kicked her out the hotel afterwards she said i'll show him you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that was that so that's sounds what like what about. happened you know kodak black seems like a savage he's not only a savage with the crimes he's a savage with the ladies <laughs> mm. so you you saying you don't think he took it I don't think he did, but, you know, that's up to the courts. That's not my area. Mm. I'm just saying, I don't think so. I mean, I've seen, when you're famous, girls throw it at you. Yeah. I've seen it firsthand with a lot of rappers, you know. You, 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 your, your, uh, your wife, you think so loyal to you, she gets around future or something, and uh, that, that she doesn't see the ring no more. It's over, you know. Damn. So then he said, I want to thank God, my family, my team, Vanessa Fatboy and James McMillan Fatboy. Salute to Fat Boy. That's my homie right there. Mm -hmm. He used to work under We the Best with Khaled and moved on and went over there with, uh, uh, you know, with Kodak Black and I forget the. It used to be uh, Ace Hood's team, Dollars and Deals. Yeah, Dollars mm -hmm. and Deals. That team. That used to be Ace Hood's um, team until he, okay. broke, he broke off from them and just went straight We the Best. He fired them. Mm. So, Hey. So Ace Hood fi fired them? Dollars and deals, yeah. They got they essentially brought him to Cali. Oh wow. Yeah, so yeah, that's spooky. <laughs> that's <laughs> spooky. Fat, Fat Boy used to work for Cali and then he moved on and worked with Dollars and Deals and Kodak Black. So he said, uh, Atlantic Records, my lawyers, and all of my fans for your continuous love and support. I can't wait mm -hmm. to get back to doing what I love most. Working at being the illest rapper alive. I like the confidence. I like that. I like that. Skirt, Kodak skirt, Black. Skirt. Yo, he's back, man. So, so um, Kodak Black being home, right? Yeah. Now, let's talk about the, the, the so-called new dudes that's hot. Okay, 21 Savage is on fire out here, okay? Okay. Now, would 21 Savage have, uh, have, I mean, the songs are fire. I'm a 21 Savage fan. But would he have caught so much fire with Kodak Black still being out here? Because before Kodak Black mm -hmm. got in all this, I mean, he's been in jail for a minute right now. Yeah. In and out. Would he, would 21 Savage be so on fire and be under, you know, do, affiliated with OVO and everything? Or would that be Kodak Black? Yeah. We, we'll never know. We'll never know. Actually, we'll yeah, see you in never the next know, coming man. months because Kodak Black is out here ready to move around. Uh, you know, he, he put on a little weight in jail, as as a lot of people do. You see Max mm -hmm. B, he bulked up. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, it's time it's time to get out here and, and, and feed the streets. Let's name all the new dudes that, that got a buzz and let's match him up against okay. Kodak Black. Well, 20, well, 21 Savage already had a buzz, okay? Like, he was on that freshman. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. talking about in terms of who's a better artist lyrically. Okay, 21 Savage versus Kodak Black. Kodak Black. I think Kodak Black's better lyrically, but 21 Savage found a unique sound for himself. He's totally okay. different than Kodak Black. Kodak Black... Kodak Black has a versatility, you know? Like, uh, he's just dope. Like, I heard him off the rip. He was dope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dope. He's just... You could tell he's authentic. 
21 Savage sounds pretty authentic too, but he's more just talking to you versus 21 Savage is like more musical to me. Yeah. They they Savage. they had some footage of him looking shook on stage or something like that. Who? 21 Savage. Shook? Yeah. When? It's, it's, it's out there. Like maybe a week ago, a few days ago, I seen it. What do you it. mean like shook? Like, like shook. Oh. Yeah. Well, we know one thing. He didn't get knocked out on stage. That was a false report. Yeah. Um, then we got little Yachty's out here, but he was buzzing before too, and he's totally different. Um, who else we got? Who else was on? Well, who you rather listen to? Oh, twenty. Uh, I'd rather listen to Kodak Black. Okay. Little Yachty's not so much my style. I like Little Yachty. I like I like Little Yachty hustling out here, getting money. Yeah, he I'm, talks I'm glad to the younger too. crowd. I mean, your kids listen to Little Yachty, right? Um. Yeah, I, I guess. Now he's got some good ones. I like that song. Uh, I like that song. Cool, like Minnesota. Cool. It, it just catchy. He's he's got some catchy little things. I'm not like I'm not bumping it in the crib, but I when I listen to it, it's like, hey, it's cool. There's a mm. there's a crowd for everything. See, that's what I like. That's a market for everything. That's what I like about hip hop now. You got like your Yo Gattis, then you got your you know your Twenty One Savages, then then you got your Kendricks, then you got your J Coles. Oh yeah, but Shout I'm gonna be let's, let's, let's keep it real, man. We call this show Daily Hip Hop Live. Where hip hop is either whack or dope, and certain shit is just either whack or yeah. certain shit is just dope. I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Ain't no in betweens. You know what I'm saying? Some stuff is whack out here, yeah. <laughs> and that's and Kodak. I can't, I can't, I'm going to tell you what I'm not feeling. Uh, I, I respect Little Yachty more than I do Designer almost. Mm. I have to say that because Designer, dope song with Panda. He caught one. He caught one. That shit was hard. But all the follow up songs aren't good to me. Timmy Timmy Turner is horrible. Like, I, can't I, I like to it. acapella of Timmy Timmy Turner. I mean, it was more cool, than, but it's like, you know what? I think record. Code. I think he's going to surprise us, designer though, because I just saw some footage of him singing in studio over a guitar. Boy can kind of sing. What? <laughs> yeah. So I think designer's going to surprise us and evolve into something else. Yeah. I mean, I don't like the Timmy Timmy Turner. I got to hear more from designer though. I got to hear more. Little Yachty, I know what to expect from him. Um, not my type of music, but salute to him. You know, little um Uzi Vert. I like it. yo. I kind of like little Uzi Vert. I like. I gotta it. hear some more music. Oh, he, he, I ain't really. Yo, hear I'm gonna tell you something about little little Uzi Vert makes some good songs, bro. Oh yeah, yeah I gotta check sure, him out for sure, for sure. He does, yeah, for sure. Um, who else is popping out here? Um, I don't know. I mean, those names always come up. Yeah. yeah. Do you think now? Do oh, you think, what about G Herbo and um? Yeah, what's what's the other dude? Oh, Bibby, little Bibby. Little Bibby. He's dope. Little, little Bibby's Bibby's dope. 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 He's dope. 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 Let me give credit to him. Kodak Black, mm -hmm. little Bibby, and I. I gotta listen to G Herbo, yeah. but I'm hearing that he's dope too. G Herbo. He's got a few joints. Uh, I like. Well, I Lil like Bibby him. is dope. Little Bibby is super dope. Super. Off dope. the rip, hearing him, he's dope. That's how you know when the artist is dope. I heard yeah. Kodak Black off the rip, he was dope. Yeah. Little Bibby, I heard he yeah. was dope. Like the first thing I heard from him, that's mm. dope to me. Yeah. Because when you were MC or when you were a dope artist, even if it's not your best song, it's still gonna come off dope. Yeah. Because. You know, you mastering your craft to whereas, you know, every song ain't going to be your best song, but it ain't going to be whack. You right. dig what I'm saying? It ain't going to be whack. Right. No, I totally so, hear you. you know, I totally hear you. So, yeah. I mean, you know, and then we got Kodak Black. He's out on a 100K bond, okay? So he didn't beat the case. So he's still going to have to come back and fight that case. I'm sure it could be settled. You know, he he's, he faced a lot of charges, so he's almost clear. Now let's let's go into his legal issues, okay? Yeah. What is the case? Okay, well, let's go through all the legal issues, and then I'll get yeah. into the case. Okay, so uh, Kodak Black was placed on, on to youth de uh, detention center three times in one year, and then placed on probation. In October 2015, Kodak Black was arrested in Pompano Beach and charged with robbery, battery, false imprisonment of a child, and possession of cannabis, and was later released. 
In April 2016, Kodak Black was arrested again in Hallandale Beach, Florida, and charged with possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of cannabis, and fleeing from the officers. The following Damn. month, Kodak Black was arrested another time in Broward County, Florida, and charged with armed robbery and false imprisonment. He was Damn. detained in custody. In August 2016, Kodak Black appeared in court in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Several executives from Atlantic Records attended the court. Salute to Atlantic for supporting them. Yeah, salute to them. Vice President Michael Kushner commenting, Black has a bright future as a recording artist. Kodak Black pleaded no contacts to all the charges under a plea agreement and was to be placed on house arrest for one year um, and have five years probation and perform community service to take anger management. But... He uh, and he was promoted, permitted to tour internationally, but prior to his release, more charges came up, <laughs> and uh, police discovered two outstanding uh, criminal warrants. Uh, first from Florence, South Carolina, which is the one he just got out of now, and allegedly felony criminal sexual misconduct. And the second from St. Lucie County, Florida, alleged two. Two counts of misdemeanor cannabis possession. Okay, so the sexual misconduct was in South Carolina, and the the other cannabis possession stuff was like in Florida. Uh, in 2016, September, Kodak Black, September 2016, Kodak Black pleaded no contest to the two misdemeanor drug charges and was sentenced to four months in jail. But he was credited for time spent in custody awaiting trial, only to only serve 120 days. Then. Uh, basically, he got shipped to South Carolina the other day, and they let him go on bail. So it's kind of crazy for him, but he's chipping his charges away. So he's serving his time. He's getting mm. all that off of him. Now, going forward now, and this guy needs Atlantic Records representative just to stay with him all the time, keep him out of trouble, because this guy just can't stay out of trouble, man. I hope maybe he learned his lesson, because think all the money he missed out on, Wreck. He's been in jail for like six months, bro. Six months. Crazy. Let's say this kid makes a minimum fifty thousand a month. That's being mm -hmm. light, okay? I think he was charging fifteen to twenty a show, and he was probably doing six to seven shows a month, right? Mm. But let's just say fifty. It's a lot of money, bro. That's like three hundred thousand. Let's just yeah. say he missed a good half a million. Mm. With features and all that. Features on uh, that's just show money, probably five hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, damn. Woo. So I hope he can just stay out of jail now and just get to the money. Mm-hmm. Facts. Cause he's dope, man. So I, I mean, what are you? Are you looking forward to hearing new music? Yeah, I'm. I'm about to lock in the Kodak Black, man. I'm gonna listen to all his music. Do you and think, um, do you think it's gonna be different? I think he's gonna have more to talk about now. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's had a lot of definitely. time to think and everything. So I, I think that it's going to be dope. What did you say about that picture? You, you said that guy looks like a racist behind That might be his lawyer. Yeah, that, that, that white dude behind him like that a straight racist. That might be his racist. lawyer, though. You think straight, it's his lawyer? Oh, that's his lawyer? I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Nah, if that's his lawyer. I don't know. Be careful with that. They might be trying to set him up. <laughs> Especially Shit. the South Carolina. That's right? spooky. That, that dude looks spooky behind him. He's pretty, he looks like he's looking at his hair. Like, how did he get his hair like that? I don't want my hair like that. <laughs> that right? dude looks spooky. Uh, man, I'm, I'm happy he's out, man. That's dope. Do you think he's going to smoke some broccoli while he's out? Or do you, he probably can't do that, right? He's on probation, right? I mean, he can't do it, but he, he probably can't resist it. Who knows? He's, he talks about it a lot. <laughs> hey, man. Broccoli. Hopefully, man, you know, you know. He's probably get himself a nice piece of ass tonight. Some some pussy, some good pussy. No, you already know that's happening. That's for, first and foremost, he's coming out. Getting, that's lined up for him. He's you know, get fans some good Haitian probably, food, right? He's gonna probably go to Little Haiti and get some Haitian food. Mm. Bye. That's how they say bye. Mm. Shit, bye. I'm getting nothing pregnant tonight. <laughs> you know, you saying he's you going saying? in, shooting the club up. <laughs> shooting the club up. <laughs> oh, man. With the AK. All right, what do you think? We should end it here. Should we go to yeah. the room? See if anybody's in the room. 
What's right, happening in the room? room? Okay, someone said R.I.P. Johnny P. I don't know what that means. Spooky as fuck. Okay, why so early today, fellas? Well, Kodak Black out. We got to celebrate, bro. Shout out to JT Money and Zopound Red Eyes. Trick that. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Red Eyes, man. I worked with him before. JT Money. Shout out to JT Money. We should get JT Money on the show, right? Why? JT I'm, Money. I'm, I'm, He's I'm a hustler. I'm going to hit him up. JT Money. He's a hustler. Yeah, we got. Don't he got that um trap flicks and all that? I don't know. We got to interview him. Yeah, he's a hustler. Shout out to Zach Robinson, Lanier Boyd, Frank Davis, uh, Looking for the Truth, Sylvan Planton, uh, Trey Bucks, uh, Frank Davis, Hello. Lanier Boyd. Salute to all you guys, man. Appreciate you guys coming in on such an early broadcast. We truly appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate y'all, man. Black is home. Uh, interview Jay Electronica. Mm-hmm. Isn't, that, isn't he spooky? He's hard to get up with, right? Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, we we gonna make it happen though. You know, we're gonna what? put some calls in. You know. Yeah, man. So on that note, man, we out of here, guys. Yeah, we, uh, we, we out, might, man. We might go live again later. You never know. So you, know, you never know. You never know, man. So depending depending on what's look, you know, how it's looking out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If we get some more news, we'll definitely go live later. Why not? Exactly. I right, appreciate you guys. Salute. Salute, we gone.